Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image here. I had some questions from readers on the Canon T2i and the Nikon D90. Uh, people are wondering which is the better camera to buy, what camera is best for them. Uh, a lot of questions actually on these two cameras. Um, they're both on sale right now. You can get some really good deals on either one, which is probably why we're, I'm seeing a lot of questions on these. People have wanted to take advantage of the deals and they want to know which camera is best for them. So I'm going to try to answer that question for you. Um, basically, on this side, you got the Canon T2i. It's a great little camera. It's a little smaller, a little lighter than the uh, than the D90. There's the two of them there back to back, two of them there face to face. Um, basically, the uh, the T2i um, is a better video camera than the D90 is. The T2i has uh, 1080 HD. You can uh, put a mic input into it, so you can hook up a Rode shotgun mic, which is what I'm using to film this right now. You can use lavalier mics. You can get into more professional audio with the T2i. You're also shooting at the better 1080 HD. It's got various frames per second, 24, 30, 60i. Um, and so you can get into a lot more control over your video, and you have that better, higher quality video setting with the T2i. Uh, so if your primary concern is video, by all means, the Canon T2i is the best one to get. Um, now the Nikon D90. D90 was the first DSLR to come out with video. Um, that was probably over two years ago now. So in its day, it was the best. It was the only one with video for a while. But it's only 720 uh, video for your resolution. So basically, that's getting a little dated. Uh, as I said, when it came out, it was top of the line. It's a little dated now. Um, if you're just planning on doing some video around the house with the kids, with family, things like that, it should be fine for you, no problem there. If you're wanting to get into more advanced video, the D90 is probably not your camera. The T2i would be the one you'd want to go with. Now, on the flip side, if you're more interested in photography, if stills and photos are your primary concern, then I would say the D90 is the better camera. Uh, D90 is a little bit more solidly built. Um, it definitely has a better autofocus system than the T2i is. Uh, between the two of them, I find that D90 nails the shot almost every time. I pretty much give it 100% uh, focus accuracy. The T2i, not so good uh, when we're shooting photography and stills. Um, basically, you get a lot more out of focus images with the T2i than you do with the D90. Um, the D90 also um, has some other features. It's much more of a photographer's camera. Um, Nikon tends to offer you a lot more built-in features in the camera than Canon does. So there's uh, there's those available. The D90 is a better high ISO camera as well. It's 12 megapixels. The Canon T2i is 18 megapixels. So the T2i does have more resolution, but the, um, the D90 has a better high ISO image. It's cleaner, more detail resolved at higher ISO. So basically, that's it in a nutshell. If um, you are more of a going to use the camera more for photography for stills, go with the D90. If your primary concern is video, get the T2i. And um, if you're not sure, if you're kind of in the middle, if, if it's a 50-50 type thing, then I would still probably go with the T2i simply because uh, if video is going to be quite important as far as wanting to do more advanced video, the T2i is your machine. T2i is capable of very nice photography, very nice stills, very nice photos, um, just not quite as good an autofocus system, not quite a build, as good a build quality as the D90 has. Um, and um, that's also backed up, at least uh, here in Canada, you get two years uh, warranty on the Nikon bodies and one year warranty on the uh, Canon bodies. So um, basically, uh, there's your answer, folks. If you're looking at the T2i and the D90, which one to buy? If you're primarily into video, definitely get the T2i. If you're primarily a photographer, if you're doing stills, photos, definitely get the D90. If you're in between, then uh, it's kind of a crapshoot, uh, except again, if, if your video is still very important, even though you want to do stills, then I would lean towards the T2i. Um, the other thing is, go into the store, pick up these two cameras, feel them in your hands, see how you like to feel them, the ergonomics. Canon shooters tend to like Canon ergonomics, Nikon shooters tend to like Nikon ergonomics. I've shot with both systems, they each have their pluses and minuses. At the moment I do tend to think Nikon makes a little better camera, they certainly don't have the focus issues that Canon seems to be plagued with lately. Um, in any case, um, you, it, it, a lot of it factors into your decision when you get these cameras in your hands, how you like them, how, you, how they feel. Um, 
and what works for you. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. There's definitely some great deals on right now. So if you are looking for a camera, it's a great time to buy it between the D90 and the T2i. Some really good specials. Anyways, stay tuned to Art of the Image. We'll be back with more photography articles, videos, and posts for you. Thanks for tuning in.